Small businesses may very well be the backbone of the Syracuse community. At the annual Small Business Expo this afternoon, that theme rang true as dozens of local companies got exposure. In our industry, it's not very, uh, there's no direct selling involved. It's more marketing and, and brand awareness. And part of this being uh, a business showcase, you get to meet and network with a lot of business owners and decision makers. So, so it really helps in our industry. What's even better for some of these businesses are the relationships it can build at events like these. Now, a lot of it leads to business down the road and uh, whether we can help them with our services or maybe the other way around. The vibe here at the event today is definitely positive, at least for small businesses here in Syracuse. But what about on a bigger scale? Well, that trend too is upward. As the economy uh, is not doing so well, then people are looking for other alternatives other than employment. So we get a lot of people who come in looking at what it's going to take, you know, what is it like to open a small business. However, others at the 15th annual Small Business Show have a more cynical view. But the problem is New York State really is not, has not been helping out the small businesses. Yeah, they really, and that's why it's unfortunate when the people graduate from the schools around here, where are they going? They're leaving New York State. The governor really has to look at this better and help the small businesses, give them incentive to stay here. Winyard may have a point. Studies show that the growth of small businesses and communities can bolster an area's economy. So the networking event here at the On Center is a great start. From the Piro Convention Center in Syracuse, Ben Fontana, NCC News.